think Washington University truly is special. We are really, really good at what we do. Everyone wants to make Washington University the best university it can be. It's a community of people who really care about each other, who are collaborative, and who are humble. Leading together is the spirit of what this whole university is about. We engaged people from within the university, faculty and academic leaders, but we also drew in our national advisory councils, members of the board of trustees, and other volunteers that helped us craft what turned out to be tremendously important plans and objectives for a 10-year period. It was really fun to go out there and make sure this campaign was successful. As we gain more momentum, the last year and a half of the campaign and produced this fabulous results is such a tribute to the leadership of this university and the love that this community has for the university. And I just want to thank the 160,000 donors that produced this fantastic result for the institution, for St. Louis, for the world. Thank you so much. To all of the alumni, the friends, the parents of Washington U, it couldn't have been done without really outstanding generosity of all those people over and beyond what we thought was possible. And so, again, it's a testament of leading together. I mean, the whole university community coming together. I think there's going to be extraordinary new things that happen. Some have been imagined, some are probably unimaginable yet. The outcomes of the campaign have touched every aspect of Washington University. I'm proud that a big component of the campaign has provided financial aid support for our outstanding students. We're working hard to be a leader in transforming opportunities for our under-resourced, first-generation, low-income, rural students. Students who are talented, students who are going to contribute to society. We see the difference in our classrooms. Not only do we have students that are able to come to Washington University that previously couldn't, but the conversations that we have in our classrooms are different as well. And that comes from people having different experiences. My path here was rather unlikely, and many people, including, you know, sometimes me, didn't think that it was a great idea to be starting law school as a single parent. I believe that there is a endless well of power if we can find our own resolve. Money is not just money, it's a, it's a life-changing resource. And now any service member who is able to be admitted here is able to attend here without paying for their tuition. And that makes an enormous difference to individuals who have already sacrificed so much. We started as a family without much. When my father started the business with $25,000 of borrowed money. We're all about opportunity, and we really feel that scholarship money, for instance, will give people opportunities that they would have not had to come to this university. On occasion, I would have somebody come up and talk to me and say, I wanted to meet you and thank you for the fact that my son or daughter is an enterprise scholar. We had several be the student speakers at events. They are so smart, they are so curious, and oh my gosh, they were the star of the show. Unfortunately, I think I had to follow them. It really kind of made me feel so, so cared for and just so like appreciative of, of like the fact that they're investing in me. People like, the students don't always like know the impact that they have, but really, 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 they do have a large impact um, in every aspect of like a student's life here at WashU. Innovation and entrepreneurship in America is essential to our well-being. And we have individuals who devote themselves to executing on great ideas. I've been at Washington University my entire career. We're looking at childhood malnutrition through a different set of lenses. And looking at the problem in this way is giving us new options about diagnosis, treatment, and ultimately prevention. 
investments in program are so important for the intellectual fabric in the educational process here at Washington University, and we're so incredibly fortunate to have foundations invest in our center. We've received a number of truly transformative gifts that have enabled us to develop new centers and new programs, both on the Danforth campus and in the School of Medicine. These are truly making a difference in bringing about the opportunity to collaborate on society's most complex problems. The university is set up where we have smart people in all these different places who want to do really good population health. I worked with the Institute of Public Health to bring them together to work on a series of papers to address health disparities and diabetes. I've been able to not only disseminate the work nationally, I've helped to support students to disseminate the work nationally. We've been very fortunate in leading together to attract support to build the infrastructure for study and for research. New facilities attract great people. And with the best facilities, we're able to work with outstanding students and faculty to help them realize their great potential. I'm really proud that we've raised more than $300 million to help us with the transformation of the Danforth campus and to develop great facilities for the School of Medicine. Enhancing human health is a key objective of our School of Medicine and other parts of the university through biomedical engineering, through our Department of Biology and Arts and Sciences, through the Brown School of Social Work and its participation in public health. But the School of Medicine, with its emphasis on precision medicine, is really at the forefront. We believe that we have an opportunity to dramatically improve human health. This is a place that is an enormous research engine that's dedicated to the idea that what we do today is not good enough and that we have to do better. We have created a personalized breast cancer vaccine. We've developed goggles to help define what the margin of the cancer is for a surgeon. Many of the innovative cutting edge technologies that exist right now at Siteman Cancer Center have allowed us to provide world-class care to patients. Care that they wouldn't be able to get at other cancer centers. Leading together has been critical for us uh, as a medical school to continue to realize our full potential. And this support is absolutely essential to us being a leader in advancing human health. One of our key objectives is to prepare leaders for society. I'm really proud of what we've done with the McDonnell International Scholars Academy, preparing both U.S. scholars and international scholars for global leadership. And I'm proud of the development of the Bauer Leadership Center in the John M. Olin School of Business. This is preparing many people for leadership roles throughout society. The overarching goal in this era has been to enhance our leadership today to benefit America and the world tomorrow. I'm very excited by the progress that we've made. We are recruiting the finest students. We're recruiting and trying to retain the most outstanding faculty. Washington University has developed a great deal of momentum. We are deeply grateful and we're striving to enhance the quality and impact of Washington University.